guys, this is Hemut Virtus and welcome back to the channel. The Bergsport V4 Ultimate Disc Golf Backpack for Touring Players has finally arrived at my office. This is from an Australian company and Bergsport has sent this to me to do a review and I am more than stoked and more excited and I am so appreciative that they have sent this to me. So shout out to Bergsports. And uh, what I'm going to do is my normal, unbox it, give you guys my first impression, take all the contents in my current tournament bag that I've already set ready to go for this Saturday and put it in this bag. And this is the bag I'm going to be using this Saturday, even if it rains or not, I'm going to put an umbrella on and use all the features that this bag um, has to offer, which I'm going to show you guys. Before we do that, shout out to Berg Sports for sending this bag to me once again. And if you guys want to check out these bags and their other bags, Check the link in the description of this video. I will also have a discount code VERYDIS for 10% off any of their bags. So again, great shout out and great appreciation for Berg Sports for doing this. So I can't wait to show you guys what's in this box. Let's go. All right, we got the close up. You wanna talk about feeling like Christmas in February? Get yourself a Berg Sport V4 bag. Here we go. All right, got my knife. We're gonna cut away from the body. Left hand over here. Try to lift this up so that I'm not, oh man. Let's see what color, Ooh, it's a mint color. No way. So this was sent to me from a, um, a um, local US distributor out of Massachusetts, I believe. This is from Disc, Disc Golf 978 and uh, I got a little note here. This is pretty awesome. Thank you, Ian. Enjoy your new Berg bag. And Scott is the owner of Disc Golf 978. So yeah, thank you, Scott. Appreciate it. And I even got a dum dum. Gonna have myself that little dum dum after we get this bag. So this is the bag, and oh my god, this mint color is phenomenal in person. I cannot wait. I'm just gonna throw the box on the ground if you guys don't mind. We're just gonna. There's nothing else in the box, just the packing slip and the uh, the bag here. Okay, so, so far it's got a heft to it. It definitely has um, a certain, certain level of weight to it compared to other bags. However, my understanding is that this whole bag is made of 1000D Cordura, which could add to the weight. Let's go ahead and this here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I can tell you right now, I love the bottom of this bag already. The reason why I say that is because I used to have a Revolution Carolina bag, and the bottom of the bag was made of this, this like truck cover material, truck bed cover material. I'm gonna go ahead, something else in the bag. My gosh, wow, this, the whole bag is made of a thousand D Cordura. Like there is no 500. I am loving this bottom material. Guys, this, is slick, it's grippy. When I say slick, I don't mean that it's gonna slip, be slippery. It, it just, slick, the way, when I use slick, I just means that you can put your hand through here and you can feel the premium of it. And then it's, it's a nice material. It's not cheap, it does not feel cheap. This bag doesn't feel cheap at all. Like that's what's phenomenal about it. And um, it's grippy material. I believe this is tarpaulin. Tarpaulin is a material that's made in a lot of heavy duty tarps that are used um, on the market for other things like covering wood, covering um, cement, things like that, or just put, making, creating a canopy uh, when you're out in the, in the woods. But the zippers, I'm using these zippers. These are the same zippers that was on the Manta. I'm in awe at this mint color that, that was sent to me. Like I am in awe right now. Desiccant, we don't need that. Yeah, and the straps, they're definitely, they got some thickness to it. They remind me of the Grip EQ thickness uh, on the Grip EQ straps. And uh, let's see here. So they got the, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and figure out how to get this thing to have structure. I'm so excited. And this Velcro patch is huge. But what I like about this Velcro patch is that, I don't know how to explain it. It's not very, like it's done where it looks neat and compact, where it's not, it's not just like one ugly patch. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's just tall and it runs a whole entire 
width of the bag, which gives you a lot of space. And it's actually smooth when you touch it. Like most Velcro patches, when you touch it, it's got like some texture to it that is not very smooth. Whereas this is smooth. So that's the first thing I noticed with this Velcro. I wonder how much burrs would, would grab onto this, but that's what I know so far. And this material is phenomenal. And the zippers, ooh, that's pretty smooth. I got the, I like, the, I like the zipper poles too. Very similar to the, uh, to the uh, Grippy Q zipper poles. This is SBS zippers. Again, I think this company, the zipper company is like, they've been in business for over 50 years making zippers, waterproof zippers, smooth zippers. They're kind of the equivalent to YKK. Both YKK and SBS is kind of similar. I think YKK is still kind of rated number one, but this is still on par. Here's a cooler. All right, so here we go. So we got some materials in here. We got this thing, which I have to kind of figure out what this is. Okay, and then we have this. Uh, huh. Uh, no instructions, so we're gonna figure this out. And then we have some panels. Ooh, these panels are nice. I've had bags with panels like Prodigy, Grip EQ, and those panels are much stiffer. This is pretty malleable. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and put these on and then I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I wanna show you guys putting the, uh, the panel in here. So this is the panel. This is what it looks like outside the bag. What you're gonna do is this side is going to face in towards the inside of the bag. The soft side, which I've already kind of like nailed it through with my nails, this side goes towards the outside of the bag. What you're going to do is this particular bag, according to Berg Sports, Mike wants us to put the panels in where it's very, very, very snug than the other bags on the market. So it is going to be a little work, but I think it's going to be worth it when you put it in because once you put it in, you're going to see this is what it looks like on the bottom towards the outside. You're going to see, and I have OCD, so this little corner here, you can kind of see it's like stretched to the edge. And I think that's Berg's sports, that's his intention. That's his intention is to make sure that this is stretched to the edge here because he wants the bag to be snug and filled and there's no room for slag on the fabric itself on the outside. And this top part right here, so basically it's a Velcro flap Velcro three sides, top here, and then one back here, one going down and one going down. So it's three pieces, and you just pull the flap down, and then you'll see that the top is gonna get folded like this, and then the bottom, it has a little sleeve on the bottom here. I don't know if it's gonna zoom in. There we go, there we go. So the bottom, you can see right back there, that's the bottom of the panel. It's gonna fit in that little sleeve right there where the Velcro is. And the same happens to the top. Now in order to get this to fit, you kinda of have to pull this part up and then fold it down like this before you Velcro it down. And it's gonna be very, very tight. But once it's done and once the bag stretches, then it won't be so loose like other bags that we've used. So that's how you put the panel in. Okay, so I'm on the other side and I wanted to point something out. So once you put the other panel, which is basically if you're looking at the bag, it's to, uh, if you're looking at it, it's your right side, but basically it's the bag's left panel. On the, this bag, this panel has a phone holder right here, and inside this is a, is a felt lined bag, um, pocket. So that pocket runs down in here. This piece of uh, panel does not go underneath that pocket, so do not put that under there, because if you do, you're not gonna be able to use this pocket. So make sure to run the panel on the outside of that fleece lined pocket and feed it in to the top and the bottom like per usual. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to point that out. And then after you do the first panel, the second one gets a lot easier because you know what you're doing now. But once again, you're gonna take, this is the panel right here. And once you, everything is in place, it's just one little slit in the back here there you, you can see it. One slit in the back right there, all the way at the bottom, right here, right here. That slit right there is where the bottom goes. And then this slit at the top here, let me see if I can show it. I don't think I can show it here on this one. 
But just imagine, yeah, there's a slit at the top. And it's just a very thin Velcro slip. Once you do that, again, okay, my side panels are in. The last thing to do is this panel is actually sewn in in the back so it just goes down it's not a very hard panel it's a soft panel and that's where your disc will sit and rest and it just it has a velcro piece right strip right here that strip just mates with the velcro on the bottom of the bag and i wanted to point out this bottom liner i think it's a thousand d i think this bottom liner either a thousand d or, or six or something it's very smooth it's very soft and much a lot thicker. This liner feels a lot thicker than most bags I've used. And you can see the weave is very smooth and much, much higher quality material than other bags I've used. So anyways, that soft bottom panel folds down just like that and the bag is all set to go. This is not bad stitching. It's just a piece of mint fabric that just got onto the Velcro here. I am looking for stitching issues and I really haven't found anything yet. So, thoroughly impressed with this bag so far. All right. So yeah, it's a pretty big bag. Um, it's by no means a small bag. So I'm actually pretty excited about using this bag. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. And, um, but before we do that, let's see the rest of the bag. We have a flap right here. It's, again, the whole bag is 1000D, so everything feels thick and sturdy. We got some waterproof zippers. I don't know if these are waterproof or water resistant. They might be more water resistant, but they are smooth zippers for sure. Then we have a Velcro piece down here. It's gonna mate to the Velcro piece all in the back here. It's just like that. And then we, I love this. This is my favorite patch, um, patch bar right now. And then the top of the bag, we have that same zipper at the top here every single zipper on this bag is water waterproof or water resistant of some sort so i'm really liking that now i do like after using squatches putter pockets i do like bigger putter pockets or just mostly like between pound and squatch are the two putter pockets that i love the most and my first take on putter pockets really started with pound because they they just do theirs up here and it fits four sometimes it fits five on the octohols and I went from a grip to a pound, and ever since I did that, my favorite thing about pound was the um, the putter pockets. And then Squatch did their putter pockets in a similar manner. So now I'm excited to see what this bag has to offer. So at the top here, we have a zipper with a pocket to put some items in there. That's such a nice little touch. <laughs> and then this pocket looks huge, and it also has the same 1000D liner in a putter pocket with the mint color, matching mint color. That's pretty freaking cool. I don't know what this Velcro is for. I wonder, oh, I wonder if it's for this. Huh, let's find out. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in here. I, I think it's for this. It's for this guy right here. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Oh, you can actually put this divider in here and get different, have different compartments for your different discs at the top. I'll show you guys in a minute. This is so cool. There you go, you put the divider in here and you can have different compartments for your different, oh that is so cool, I've never seen that in a putter pocket. That's pretty cool. But yeah, the bottom of this huge pocket is the 1000D liner in the same color, matching mint color. That is really cool. I don't believe there's a pocket back here. Let me see. Yeah, it's just uh, kind of empty space. There's no pocket back here. I wonder if there's, if this is uh, maybe for water bladder in the future maybe. I know the V3 had a handle, which I'm glad the handle's removed because it looks cleaner. And um, yeah, so I wonder why there's an empty space here. I think we could have, I think um, this could have been used for some, some discs as well. But who knows? I'll use it and I'll figure it out and see. But there's some space right here, but maybe this doesn't matter because if I put discs in here, it's gonna bulge back here anyways, which is fine. All right, we got two huge D-rings here. Let's go to the side here. Um, and the Bergsport embroidery, my favorite. 
pretty very clean looking bag. I am loving this bag for sure. So we got side, we got a zipper right here. You can fit probably a birdie bag or a dry bag. I don't know if it'll fit a phone. No, it will not fit a phone. All right, so that's not going in there. Um, pretty big side pocket. It's got, okay, so this pocket, again, lined with the same. So the whole bag is lined with the same material. Much, much more smaller weave. And um, it's just better than the 200D I've seen in other bags, to be honest. The liner, and even this material is the same material. So this little guy apparently goes in here. This little guy that I couldn't figure out earlier. Uh, I've seen this in other bags. I think Squatch makes something similar to this. But, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here right now. Oh, that's pretty cool. I am liking that. I can't wait to use that for my water bottle. And then it has a grommet on the bottom to drain any liquid that you need to drain. So that's pretty cool. And then the, I do like that this pocket is lifted off the ground. I don't know why, but um, other pockets, the, this hits the ground. I feel like because this has a tarpaulin material, this pocket should not be touching the ground. So this is gonna, this is lifted off the ground, so it's not gonna get dirty. And the only thing that's gonna get dirty is this, is this tarpaulin bottom. Awesome. And I love that it has no rails. Very, very good. All right, and then this huge pocket, uh, it's got like, two zippers here. Okay, so that zipper goes down. Oh, cool. Inside, we got, okay, it's an expandable pocket. We have an elasticated pocket here. I can definitely put my phone in there. That's cool. So yeah, that's, and then the rest of the pocket is just one huge pocket. Okay, I am loving this material. Like when you, I go to touch it, it's so smooth and premium, it feels really good to just use the pocket because the material feels so good. I'm loving that. Same zipper, and there's another zipper. I think this is for the expandability. Yes, it is. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And that's a good expansion. We're not talking a little expansion. We're talking a good, what is this? This is two inches of expansion right there, just pulled out just out of nowhere you get two inches of expansion of space and then I do like my bag slim because I know whenever I order the Octothorpe I always order the extra expansion pockets but sometimes I don't carry enough stuff and I want it to be a little bit thinner can't really do that and now I have that ability on this bag yes I am excited you guys can't see but I have a big smile on my face right now and then we have a small pocket in here I think this is for the umbrella Go ahead and do that right now. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I'll show you guys <laughs> better. But that is so cool. And that pocket is super thick. It's not joking around. Like, and this is a big umbrella too. It's not little. It's a full size golf umbrella. All right, let's go to the other side here. The other side, we have a mesh pocket on the outside. Again, you can probably fit your phone out here. Uh, probably not. But you can definitely fit your birdie bag out here. That's pretty cool. And then we have, this is the phone pocket with a magnet. There's a magnet in here. And it's a felt liner. Let me see if I can pull it out. Uh, can't really pull it out, but it's a felt liner. Let's see. Ooh, no way. My phone fits in there vertically. Like, this is an S21 Ultra. Vertical fit, not horizontal vertical yes Burke sports you did good you did good on this I like it a lot <laughs> that is so cool that is so cool I like the fact that it goes down vertical all right okay that's the highlight of my well the whole bag is the highlight but anyways so this side it also has an opening it also has a grommet on the bottom just like the other side except it does not have the divider with the velcro like it does on the other side so what that tells me that's just fine because I can put my water bottle in here on this side, but my right hand is gonna pick up this strap, so I'm not gonna hit that, that side. I am cool with that. I believe this pocket is for this right here. This is, whoa. This looks like 1680 ballistic nylon material. This, looks, this is what this feels like. Um, this little pouch right here 
Oh my god, this is actually... You know what? This is the desiccant. This reminds me of my cooler pouch on my ridge roller. Pretty sure it's uh, made by the same company, if not. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it fits right in here. I will tell you, this might be the one time I will use the cooler on a backpack. Because normally I don't use the coolers that come with the backpack. But I might actually use this one on hot summer days to carry a cold drink. Because I've done that with my, my cart and I love having my ice drinks and a banana in here. I like my bananas cold. So I've done that where, and then I've also had a yogurt in the cooler on my cart. So I can actually do this with this little guy. That's actually really cool. So yeah, so that's what this is for. Okay, I thought that was stitching. That's not stitching, it's just extra fabric. Cool. Um, yeah, so it comes with the cooler in the bag. And then the same, kind of the same pocket, expandable pocket on this side. Let's see what's, this side's a little different. We have some pencil holders. And then we have an elasticated piece here, maybe for a, uh, a retriever of some sort. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's a really cool feature with the expandable pocket. And then towards the back, the back is pretty, I want to say it's very gnarly. Like the straps themselves are 3D mesh material. We got huge 3D pockets here. Well, not pockets, they're just 3D pads with airflow here. This at the top right here is barn store stitching. This is very reminiscent of, uh, of Grip EQ. So it's, it's thick, it's thicker than than some of the Grip EQ bags, but the thickness is definitely on par, if not better, on some of their models. Uh, pretty sure the AX5 or the new MB model of Grip EQ might have similar thick padding, but this bag is also probably a lot cheaper than an MB from Grip EQ, so I think for the value, as my first impressions right now, I am loving the value in this bag. So yeah, let's go ahead and fill it up and uh, see how it feels on my back. All right, everything that was in the European Birdies Freed 2 is now in the Bergsport V4 Ultimate. So the configuration is a little different because of the space, the use of space is a little different in each bag, but I was able to put everything in this bag. I got the, my mini on this side here. I got my retriever in the this cool pocket right here that I love that I can access it without unzipping this. It's my one of my favorite things about it. And then my towel, D-rings. Love it. Manufacturers need to make put D-rings on their bags. Right now I have two water bottles in here. I don't have my 32 ounce bottle because it's being washed right now. So I'm just putting these in here just to kind of see. And then I put my doggy bag on this outer pocket right here. And then everything else that was in the side pockets are filled in here now. Hand warmers, my flight towel. And right now it's still in the slim position. I haven't opened up the extra space in the side pockets. So I got everything else in here on this side. Yeah, so it's, uh, I love it. I can use it when it's tucked away and then I can open that up when I need the space. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day on this unboxing. All right, so this is the part where I put the bag on and this will be my first impressions carrying the bag with everything in it. I will tell you that the, this bag, the, the V4 does weigh four and a half pounds according to Berg's website. The European Birdies Free 2 looks smaller in its number and also weighs four and a half pounds. So they actually are of the same weight. So let's go ahead and put this on. Thinking just yet, I have not adjusted it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh wow. Sternum strap here. Do this. Oh yes. Wow. So this bag, sternum strap actually works better than the other bags. Don't know how, but I'll figure it out and then do a review and talk about it. But maybe it's in the placement of it. But once I put the sternum strap on, it just holds the bag together and it pulls it up towards my chest so I don't have the bag sagging as much. Oh man, those pads, you can feel it in the back. Um, the pads will kind of prevent me from feeling the discs. 
So that's what I feel right now. And it's weird because when you put the bag on, when you pick it up, it's really heavy because it's got all the stuff in it and it's four and a half pounds. But the moment you put it on, it's super light. And I thought this would bother me, but right now it's not bothering me. So we'll see what happens when I'm on the course for extended periods of time. But the padding, I don't know, because Grip has their padding too. But for whatever reason, this padding feels different than Grip's stuff. So uh, we'll see. And I'm, I'm liking the fact that there's no handle here, haul loop, touching the back of my, my neck. So that's kind of cool right now. Yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable for a big a bag this size. And these pockets make it look really big, but that's actually really cool. So far, um, the bag is big, as it should be. However, once I put it on, it's super light, but when you're carrying it like this, it's, it's really heavy. And I love the bottom of this bag, the tarpaulin, tarpaulin material. That is a cool feature. I love that it's a soft bottom and not no rails or anything like that. And I dig all the features that are slightly different from other manufacturers. I'm actually liking the padding on this, which I never really like notice on other bags. But the padding, I don't know what the what the what's with the placement is where it's comfortable on my back. Because once I put it on, it does feel like a box, but it's not an uncomfortable box, if that makes any sense. All right, oh, good. wait one more time. Oh my gosh, yes. And once again, thank, shout out to Berg Sports for sending out this bag to me. I cannot wait to use it in my tournament this Saturday. For a, um, if you wanna check the bags out, just check it for the link in the description below. It, there is a 10% code. It's very does. Go ahead and check out the bags. It does come in black, all black, which looks really cool as well. This is the mint color. And it is going to be available for purchase on March 15th, 2024, available to ship to you. So all the pre-sales right now are being shipped, but anyone who's purchasing after the pre-sale pre is not going to ship till the 15th of March, is my understanding. Again, 10% off. It is $219.99 at Berg's website. And if you do 10% off, you can get 20 bucks off, a little bit over $20 off, which is a phenomenal deal for a $200 bag, you get a lot. All right, see you guys later.